Hawaii pilgrimage to honor Father Damien in Belgium. Well, they are in Belgium right now. The 11 patients embarking on the pilgrimage can expect a lot of media attention. And tonight, KITV's Pamela Young reports another passenger will be the star attraction. Audrey Toguchi know that her miraculous cure from cancer 10 years ago would throw her into the international spotlight. The primary cancer of her left hip, which is called a liposarcoma, and spread to her lungs, which is called metastasis. Audrey declined chemotherapy and relied on the power of prayer, specifically to Father Damien. She went to Kalau Papa and prayed at his grave site. In a space of about five to nine months, we saw that it disappeared completely. A very private person, Audrey was then questioned by a Vatican panel of investigators. The conclusion, a verified miracle attributed to prayers to Father Damien. Now Audrey will be going to Rome and will be the only Hawaii person playing a significant part in the canonization. She will be the subject of an ABC special by correspondent Elizabeth Vargas. Fear of a media frenzy in Europe has prompted pilgrimage officials to secrete her from the public. She's even traveling under an alias. But Audrey is determined to endure, to honor Damien. When she was a child, she saw his casket on its way to Belgium. Sister Calista, the principal, took the whole school down to Fort Street to say goodbye to Father Damien. All of us little kids just stood on the side of the road. And so that casket went all the way down to the base of Fort Street and into the ship. And on the trip home, Audrey will see Damien return to the islands in the form of a relic, the ashen bone of his right heel, to be given to the Hawaii Diocese following the canonization. That's Mixed Plate. I'm Pamela Young. Now, Pamela and photographer Rex von Arnswald are traveling with the patients of Kalau Papa and Bishop Silva. They'll report on all the events surrounding the canonization over the next week.